Open Tofu, the open source alternative to Terraform, is currently released in alpha, and now's the time to start planning your migration path. In this video, I want to show you just how easy it is to migrate from legacy Terraform to Open Tofu in just a couple of commands. Plus, we've got good news if you're using Spacelift to manage your infrastructure, as Open Tofu is now natively supported. So first, I'm going to take a generic Terraform project that I've got here and show you just how easy it is to migrate over to Open Tofu. Here I've got a pretty simple Terraform project that just spins up some EC2 instances on AWS. So if I do a Terraform plan, I can see just what resources I have here to deploy. I can see I've got six resources to deploy out to AWS. So I'm going to deploy these using Terraform. So Terraform apply. And we'll just fast forward so this finishes. So here we've got our resources created and a working Terraform project. So to migrate this project to Open Tofu couldn't be simpler. We first just need to install the correct package for the operating system that we're on. You can get the latest Open Tofu package from the GitHub releases page where you'll find releases for Windows, Solaris, Linux, Mac. If you're on a Linux distro that supports the Snap Package Manager, you can just snap install Open Tofu. Or if you're on a Mac like me, then you can just use Homebrew to install the Open Tofu package. So that's what we're going to do now. So here we're going to do a brew install Open Tofu. So now we can see that we've got the Open Tofu Alpha package installed. The name of the CLI that comes with Open Tofu is just Tofu. So we can verify that everything's okay with just Tofu dash dash help. So everything looks good. We've got the binary in our path and it's now time to migrate this project over to Open Tofu. One of the steps in the migration process is to change the default Terraform registry to the Open Tofu registry for modules and providers. Open Tofu operates its own registry, but it's completely compatible with the Terraform registry, and it'll be able to resolve all of the providers and modules that you use seamlessly. The good news is that Open Tofu will take care of this for you. So we're going to go back to our project here, and I'm just going to bring up the Terraform lock file. I'm just going to leave this on screen here, but we can see that we're resolving our providers from registry.terraform.io. So we're just going to leave that there for now. So in order to get this project operating under open tofu, we just need to run a tofu in it and then give it the dash upgrade flag. Now, when I run this, keep an eye on the contents of the lock file above. So this has initialized our open tofu project, and we can see the main change here in the lock file is that we're now pulling our providers from the open tofu registry. Everything else stays the same because Open Tofu is compatible with the latest MPL release of Terraform. It's able to read in our existing state file and just simply take over as a drop in replacement. So we can see that if we run a Tofu plan. Open Tofu's read in our existing state file that was generated by Terraform. It's able to process that and it can see that there's no changes to make. As of the alpha release, the CLI for Open Tofu supports the exact same commands and flags as the Terraform CLI does. So the only thing that's changed at this point is that we run the Tofu binary instead of the Terraform binaries. So in order to migrate a local Terraform project to Open Tofu, that's really all that's involved. It literally is a drop-in replacement. As I mentioned before, if you're using Spacelift to manage your infrastructure, then the good news is that Spacelift now supports Open Tofu natively, and you can migrate from Terraform to Open Tofu in just a couple of clicks. And let me show you that now. So I'm going to destroy these resources here with Tofu Destroy because I have this project under Spacelift management. Let's just do a Tofu Destroy to remove these instances, and then we'll take a look at migrating from Terraform to Open Tofu using Spacelift. So here in Spacelift, I have a stack configured for this project called Terraform Demo. We can see here this is running on Terraform 1.5.7. And we're just going to trigger this and deploy our resources. Let's fast forward a bit. So as we expect within Spacelift, we can see it's run a Terraform plan and we've got six resources to add. So I'm just going to confirm this and let this stack run and deploy my resources. We'll just skip ahead. So here I've got a successful run of my Spacelift stack using Terraform to deploy my six resources. So we saw how easy it was with our local projects to migrate from Terraform to Open Tofu. With Spacelift, it's even easier. If we just go back into our stack and click under Settings, we can come down here and select Backend. And here we can see the workflow tool is currently open source Terraform, which implies the last MPL release. 
And if we select this drop down here, we can just select Open Tofu. And we can select a version. Obviously, right now it's still in alpha, so we've got 160 alpha 3. And then just save. We can see at the top here, we've now got Open Tofu set as our back end. And if we come back into runs and trigger another run in this stack, Facelift will now run this stack under Open Tofu. So let's just let this finish. So here we can see a successful Spacelift stack run. Again, Spacelift's been able to use the existing state from Terraform. But if we look closely, we can see that behind the scenes, we've got Open Tofu being run in place of Terraform. So if I want to tear this down again, I can just come into Tasks and we'll just run a Tofu Destroy dash dash auto approve and tear down the stack. So if you've been reading a lot about Open Tofu in the last few weeks and have been considering evaluating it but have been worried about the migration process, rest assured, as you can see, it's a drop-in replacement for Terraform and the migration is just a couple of steps. I hope this video has been useful. If you've got any questions, as always, please leave a comment below. We're going to be coming out with a lot more content around Open Tofu, so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. I'm Craig Dunn, developer advocate over at Spacelift. Until the next time.